so welcome to Chelmsford. In today's video, we're gonna be wrecking the Velo Essex route, which is a new cycling event, 100 miles, closed roads. Although the roads are not closed for us today. As a few of you already know, my bike got destroyed by an airline recently, so I've got the backup one. Got a few new bits on it, thanks to Brown's bikes, and it's rolling again. Are you cleaning your bike with a bandage? Band first aid kit. But I have a clean bike for shit, haven't you? It is so cold. How is it so cold? I've got to be honest, I don't know if I've got a warm enough kit for this. Is there a reason why we've uh, both got him back into the car? Temperature. <laughs> it's freezing. I'm, I'm considering riding in this jacket. <laughs> but past experience tells me that it will warm up. Yeah. And then this will be too hot. Yeah, and then you'll have nowhere to put it. So I'll just suffer for the first 10 minutes and then I'll be okay. We'll just go really hard off the gun. Yeah. We've got a 100 mile route, 50 mile route, completely closed roads. So it's a little bit like being in a race. Very cool atmosphere and it's nice to be able to spread out along the road, which is something you just can't do in the UK, especially in areas like this, because around London, it's always busy. It was a pretty short drive for us at the start, surprisingly quick. And right from the off, you're on some uh, nice country lanes. It's a shame we can't see that much today because of the weather. Hopefully that'll improve. Well, it will have definitely got better by September, which is when the event is. Done about 20K now. Laws on the front. Warm. I'm down to my last bar already. That's a bad sign, mate. I may have miscalculated. You normally have like an epic breakfast, so I don't know what what you were thinking of today, to be honest. I had burgers for breakfast. Burgers for breakfast, yeah. yeah. But you probably had them at like 7.30, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, like normal getting up time. On a weekend though, come on. Give yourself a break. It's a week. times a whole bag of pita breads yeah we've only done 30 miles but you just bought half the shop so i thought you know so you can dip them in my hummus if you want but it's got green on it what's that it's not green it's a raisin feeling much better now managed to miss dinner last night because of jet lag just fell asleep too early. In terms of getting food in, our little shop came just at the right time. Now we're plugging away. Roads are much quieter. Really out in the country now. Good surface, eating up the miles. How good is this? Right. So quiet. There's a little bit of roadworks back there and they closed the road and now we're just on. <laughs> Mate, this is what it'll be like. Yeah, this is really great. Look, it's fields surrounded by fields, even though we're going through a little town. I don't get this in Surrey. Nah. And I also feel like I might have been here before. So it looks kind of familiar. There's a few road races around here, right? Yeah, I think there are, yeah. Like the Jeff Shields will be somewhere not yeah, far from here. I always here. get confused between Colchester and... Uh, Chelmsford. <laughs> Chelmsford, the other one, the other sea. It's only just going to get more and more quiet as we go out towards the, the furthest bit of the circuit. So yeah, 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 this is awesome. I'm out of shape. <laughs> Two weeks off the bike has done me in. Yeah? Yeah, all inclusive is not the one. Well. I mean, it's great, but it's not great. It's not great for cycling. It's not, not good for your January goals, is it? What January goals? Can you imagine if these were your home training roads? No wonder Alex Dowsett is a pro. It's just easy, isn't it? Where's the blue egg? It's just not, I don't know. No. <laughs> Where is that? Should we find that? Um, yeah, I mean, these, these roads are pretty special, man. I'm a bit jealous actually. I feel like we might need to come out this way a bit more. Yeah, well let's do it in summer. Let's do it on September the 20th. <laughs> and I think it's gonna get dark soon. It will get, get dark soon. There's not enough hours in the day no. to do this ride in winter. This, uh, this entire 100 mile route only has 1,200 meters of climbing. A lot of the roads are rolling, but there's a few little punches that me and Lawrence have had to go up. I just wish I had access to these roads more easily from where I live, because so much better than my local roads. Let me check it out. 
Unfortunately, my bonk food has worn off now. Still got a while to go. It's a good thing, because I need to uh, get in shape after two weeks of not riding. Right, 2014. Yeah. So this is part of the route. Yeah. And this guy's painted it on his house. He must be a true fan. It's nicely done as well. Come on, mate, we got to go. It's getting dark. I love the way on my channel you blamed it on me, the fact that we're late. But actually, I waited for you for a whole hour at your house whilst you fannied around. You're past the play in this story, then. You've got to do hair and makeup hair before and makeup. a vlog. All that stuff, you know. So, just rolling back to the car now. This area here is actually the HQ for the event. Loads of space for people, and uh, check out this. It's like the mansion from Layer Cake. So we were definitely pushing on a little bit at the end there just to get back before it got dark. It's, it's not much daylight this time of year. Successfully made it. Legs still just about intact. Proper big day out. That's going to be a fast 100 miles. That is going to be a fast 100 Especially miles. when you've got wheels to follow. There's going to be it's going to be quite a few people here, isn't it? I don't know how they're going to set people off, but yeah, it's a, it's a fast circuit. Definitely one to do if you want an average speed that is like, you know, considerable. So that has basically just made me really jealous about people who live in Essex because those roads are so much better than what we have at home. How long would it take us to ride out here? Too long. It's just a really flowing course. So even though there's two options, 50 miles and 100 miles, uh, the 100 mile one, because there's fairly little elevation, a lot of riders will still be able to complete that, especially with all the drafting that can go on there when there's tons of people doing it. That's going to be cool in September. Well, hopefully it'll be warm in September. So I just got back, I was going to sign this video off and then I fell asleep because 100 miles. I'm now awake, signing this video off by saying down in the description if you want to check out the routes and stuff for Velo Essex, entry is launched today. It's a great opportunity for me and Lawrence to be working with the Velo series this year. We're both going to be riding the event as well as doing a bit of work with them up to the release. Anyway, check it out in the description if you want to. Hope you enjoyed today's video. It was a fun one to make. I can't wait for some sun. New Bike Fit Tuesday is coming up in the next couple of days. See you guys then.